and today I am with my brother Owen. So today we are making chocolate buttons. Yeah, so what, what are we making then? Which chocolates are we making it out of? So we are making it out of um, Tesco milk chocolate and, and Tesco white chocolate. And we have the Tesco everyday value plain chocolate which is dark chocolate but we're not using that one today because Owen doesn't like dark chocolate. Yep. So we're just using the white and the plain. I mean the white and the milk. Okay, so first what do you think we have to do? We have to put the chocolate into the bowl. Exactly, right. So we've got two bowls by here and we've got two sponges by here. So, right, which one do you want to do? Mm. I'll do one each. Um, I'll do the white chocolate one. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, so Owen is going to do the white chocolate and I am going to do the milk chocolate. So, first when you have your chocolate, you, you have to open the packet. I'm going to use scissors. We may or may not have eaten a bit of the chocolate here. So it's already open. We're just going to put about half a pack in because we're making two. If you're making one type of chocolate, you can put full pack in. Depends on how many um, chocolate buttons you're making. It depends on who you're making it for. So, so we're just going to put half a pack each. Okay. But three rows I put in. Yeah. Yeah, so that's half a pack. And just break them up into little squares like I'm doing. And I break it into. That's fine. Cool. You can do it. It's fine then. Yeah, I'll break it in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pop the chocolate up right here. So you've got my chocolate here, and I'm just going to break his down here in it. <laughs> okay, so... Very neat, Owen, very neat. There we go. Owen's breaking his all down. So while Owen's breaking his, I'll show you what else we got. So we've got a pan, a big pan for like baking and stuff like that. We got the agnostic baking paper. We got it from Tesco's, of course, because Tesco's is life. <laughs> okay, so now so we, we, we are lining. We broke up the chocolate. So now, before we do this, we're going to pop them in the microwave. So let's go. So we are now putting our chocolate into the microwave. And we're putting it on medium heat for 20 for seconds. I say about 30 seconds, and then we take it out. 30 seconds, and then we start it. And then we start it. I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, now it's finished. Um, we need to open it, and as you can see, it's kind of started to melt in in some places. Yeah, and the bottom it's starting to melt a bit. So now we will st stir it around, see it's kind of got melty. I'm gonna pop one back in for a bit. Then we'll stir it for about. 20 seconds and then we'll put it back in the microwave for about 10 and then we'll catch I, up. I put mine in for about 20 but mine was less melty than yours. And, that, and we'll catch up when it's quite melty. Okay. So we have, we've um, melted the chocolate. As you can see, it's, it's quite running, and you don't want to overheat it because otherwise it will burn and become crispy and horrible. Yeah. Um, Wouldn't want to eat the chocolate. Yeah, it's really not nice. But just to make sure, make sure um, any little kids doing this, make sure you have adult supervision, someone looking, um, looking out for you, making sure you're doing it all safe. Make sure you're all okay, so make sure you do have um, adult supervision. But anyway, on to the next bit. So now we're going to line this tray with a baking paper. So we need a bigger sort of sheet. 
So once we get the right measurements from the whole thing. Yeah, you don't have to have it, it perfect. Yeah. You just have to make sure it does line the whole thing. Yeah. Then we cut it. Okay, let me get ready to catch it. Okay, now we put it onto the pan. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's a bit misshapen, you touch it at one end and on the okay. okay, so you can. Okay, so you will grab um, a little bit of oil and a little bit of, um, of kitchen roll. Did you say? Okay. So that, that is what we would use for a little bit of kitchen paper. Um, that is from Tesco's, I think. Show the camera. There we go. Yep, we get it from Tesco's, the floor, sunflower oil, and what have you done? I mean, what have you done? We get most things from Tesco's. Yeah, it's the easiest. Okay, so now we need to get off a bit of baking paper. Not baking paper, kitchen paper. Fold it, and then put a tiny bit of oil. on to the paper. See now it kind of fits pretty much. You need to put a bit of oil on the paper. Like this is about how much we need to put on. And half it will sink so you need to kind of put quite a bit on. And then you need to um right so rub it round um the whole pan okay? Okay. So now we do and that's what we use to make the um baking paper stick to the pan. So while I'm doing that, I'm just going to mix um, the chocolate a bit so it doesn't start to harden. Yeah. Because then it will be um, really hard. We'd have to do, we'd have to melt the chocolate again. Yeah. So. Okay. So now we there we go. I've done um, the oiling. Right. So now we have to stick the baking pot. Um, and see, you can see more of a pattern. Just rub it in with your hands just so it sticks. Don't worry, you won't get it on your hands while you're doing this because it's underneath. Okay, so now it sticks. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to stick to the thing so it doesn't stick. Right, so you want to do white chocolate or milk chocolate now? Um, I could do one. Right, okay. So I'll show you what to do. Yeah, see, it's starting to harden. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to grab a little spoonful of the chocolate. We're just going to make a space and just kind of let it drip off into the disc. Yeah, about this much. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And just flatten it. So it's not too flat, but it's not too big. Okay, so we are back. We have now made all our our choc um, chocolate buns. So how many have you made, Owen? Um, I've made nine, um, and and Amelia's made ten and a tiny one. <laughs> yeah, that tiny one there. Yeah, we would put um, two pans to finish the rest of um, so our small. chocolate. But then, 
in our fridge there's no space left. <laughs> so, so that's my tiny one and then there we've got there's two of Owen's right here and the camera is jiggling a bit, I'm very sorry. There's one of mine here and then there's another one, 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 and another one. Then Owen's is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. Okay, so what are we doing next, Owen? So now we need to put it, put um, this whole tree in our fridge to let it cool down and and turn into um, into chocolate, like hardened chocolate. Yeah. So we're gonna let it set in the fridge for how long? Do you think? Um, I think about like maybe an hour or. or two or three yeah something like that oh, depends on um how cold your fridge is but we reckon from... probably about two hours yeah two hours from yeah okay so let's so, go see them in the fridge so we are now putting them in the fridge we cleared the space which which lovely. is by here where i'm zooming in on there we go and Owen is popping them in. Can you reach? Yeah, and perfect. Then. And it perfectly fits nice. in there. And now we're going to leave it in there for about two to three hours. Two to maybe. three hours, and we'll check back in when we're finished. So we've waited about two, two hours. hours. It's actually been in the fridge about two hours because it's two thirty. We put it in about. 12.30. Yes. So Owen, would you like to get it out? It's very cold actually. Yes. Be very careful. And let's so see what they look like. two hours, it's gone quite hard. Yeah, yeah as you can see, it's, it's gone and There's nothing out on my film. Hard. Okay, okay, so let's take them on the table. I think they're ready to eat. I think so. Chocolate has been set. Okay. So now we have to pop them onto a plate. Yes. This is how we do it. Yeah. So take this off very carefully so it does not rip. Oh, we're doing the other side. Cool. Okay. So now this is loose. We kind of bend it and then we we'll be very careful when we pop it on the plate. Subscribe to this channel. Yeah, subscribe to this channel. And do it in the time we do the outro. We'll give you five seconds to go down, subscribe, make sure you like this video. And comment. turn on notifications. Yeah, turn on notifications and comment any video suggestions you have. So, so then you know five seconds. So then you know when our videos will be published. Yes. Right to win. Make sure you subscribe to his channel as well. Like say it. Fine. No, your channel name. Um, Superman. Superman. Subscribe to that. Okay, cool. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> you should have done all of that by now. So make sure you did all the 
of what we just said. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye! Bye.